Hey everyone, this is the Scat Man. We're live here in Copper Harbor, Michigan. We're at the we're on the northernmost point in the state of Michigan, excluding Isle, Isle Royal National Park, which is a separate island off to the northwest. And as a matter of fact, there's a actually a ferry service just to the north of here, which can take you up to the national park. Definitely we'll have to do that sometime in the future, but it's an over night adventure at the least, so <laughs> don't have the time to do that. <laughs> but yep, got a lot of nice restaurants in here. I actually just had lunch a little bit ago. It's right in the downtown area. It's around 80 degrees. It's so great. For Copper Harbor, this is not too often it gets this warm, but nice breeze as Lake Superior is just right over there, which Definitely a lot, of, a lot of gift stores, motels, and restaurants, as I was saying earlier. So, I'm actually going to be heading a little bit east first, and before covering some of the areas to the west. And I think there's a par public parking to the lighthouse, I believe, down that way. So, if there is, I'm going there next. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Same right by a sign. Go almost 2,000 miles all the way on Highway 41 that way, go to Miami. But during the summertime, I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> Unless you enjoy 90 degree weather, it's up to you. Definitely a great place to go in the winter. Anyway, heading that way. Ah, welcome back. Yeah, I actually drove by the lighthouse. Uh, there's no, it's not a public lighthouse anymore. And so there's no public access to it, but there's a, give me a lookout point I'm going to stop at going back to the west. So actually, as you can tell here, I went to the very, very end of Highway 41. So it stretches from Copper Harbor, Michigan, all the way down to Miami, Florida. So, you're more than welcome to take the 1,990-mile trip all the way down, if you like. <laughs> Yeah, I love the nice scenery here. Yeah, as you can tell, yeah, we're at a little road end cul-de-sac. As this is the very, very beginning of Highway 41. It actually is the also the highway that can take you all the way down to Chicago, too. So because of this, actually dedicating this video to a good friend of mine. Is a good, uh, ah, sorry, <laughs> good friend of mine. Eric, or who's also known as Shadow Mario 41 on YouTube. His favorite number is 41, as you could probably tell. So, might as well give a shout out to him. But yeah, definitely a nice day out today. So, yeah, we're pretty much just about a few miles east of Copper Harbor itself, so we're gonna head back that way. Take a look at the lighthouse. Oh yeah, no passing zone. It's, it's so important, I have to point that out. Hi, oh, welcome back. We're about a couple miles west of the very, very end of Highway 41. And we're at the lookout point. As you can see, the Copper Harbor Lighthouse all the way from here. And just right out there is Lake Superior. Looks quite quite blue out there. Can't see any ships from here. Uh, I don't think that over out there is one. I, I think it's I, I think it's a buoy. I think. And we're at a nice little cove in here. As you can tell with the lighter winds, definitely gentle waves here. And there's a strong, stronger lake breeze here. I'm actually gonna, actually gonna go to Hunter's Point next, which is gonna be on the west side of Copper Harbor. And we should be, it should probably be a little bit cooler, uh, temperature-wise, too, as we're gonna be right at the lake itself, as we're more just in a cove. Wait, I just want to get a close-up of the lighthouse. Definitely looks quite nice. Okay, so let's over to the west side of Copper Harbor. 
check out some more cool sites. And we have made it to Hunters Point Park. We should be, actually we're seeing Lake Superior right now, but we should be seeing more of it coming up. And actually as I'm walking closer, I'm feeling more and more of the lake breeze. Yeah, we're about a mile or so west of Copper Harbor. And here we are. Here is Lake Superior. It looks quite nice. Very, yeah, I think we can get down there, so I'll go ahead and head down to the shore. And we made it all the way down to Lake Superior itself. I'm like within feet away from it. But yeah, it's a very beautiful coastline here. As it washes up onto, onto all the pebbles here. It's the one thing that's, the one thing that's, I'm trying to word this. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice when the water when the water crashes onto a sandy beach, but actually there's a lot more distinct color when it washes onto a not a rocky beach, but basically a shoreline with a whole bunch of pebbles it looks quite fantastic, and the water is crystal clear and it's nice and blue out there. It's, so I know it's around 80 degrees right now, but it does with the nice lake breeze, it does not feel like that. Probably with the breeze, it might feel like it's 10 degrees cooler even. But yeah, Hunters Point Park actually has some some trails along here too, which it gets also some nice views of the lake too, but That would be the same type of views as this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And Isle Royal National Park is on Isle Royal, which you can't even see from here is that far away. It's northwest of here on Lake Superior. And as I was saying earlier, there's a ferry service that takes you out there. And even further north, you go up to Canada with the province of Ontario and of course the Great the, the Great Lakes waterways basically it it begins up in Ontario kind of like near like the Lake Nipigon area of course and then some and then the, the Nipigon River flows into Lake Superior which produces this absolute gorgeous view and it heads out, out to Sault Ste. Marie over by the Sioux Locks and then into Lake Huron where I've done other Let's Visit videos as well. Yep, quite nice. Yeah, I'm probably going to sit here for a few minutes before I head up. I mean literally up to the next destination, which actually gonna be going to Brockway Mountain next. There's a nice road that comes out of Copper Harbor, comes from Copper Harbor that takes you right up there. And there's gonna be a very spectacular view up there, so I'm heading up there next. But really quick, hear the sounds of Lake Superior. Just saying it's the same lake, the same lake which which is the culprit for seeking the Edmund Fitzgerald, too. Oh, welcome back. We're at the top of Brockway Mountain. That was definitely a fun drive up here. <laughs> About 720 feet of incline. <laughs> Good thing I have automatic transmission in my car. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have a little bit more trouble. I'm up all the way up at the top, around 1,328 feet above sea level. On top of Brockway Mountain, you can see Lake Superior. Definitely quite a ways. If it wasn't for all the haze, you could probably even see Isle Royal from here, too. 
but we're not able to today as definitely a lot of haze. But it's definitely be quite beautiful up here. Actually, we can well, let's head to the other side of the mountain, or a couple of the other parts of the mountain, we can see other views. But yeah, we're actually about a few miles from Copper Harbor, so let's head this way. We're at the southwest part of the mountain, and we got a spectacular view of everything. You can see for miles here. Definitely see all the mountains throughout here. As you can probably tell, it's a very, very, very long way down. As we're definitely at a very steep part of the mountain, so I probably wouldn't even want to put my foot right where I'm pointing. <laughs> but definitely quite nice. See a long ways along Lake Superior and Eagle Harbor is actually down in that general direction. I'm actually going to be heading over there for a short video coming up, and then after that, I'll be heading back down to the Marquette area. But yeah, definitely quite beautiful. Although there's not very high mountains, it definitely as close to Colorado as you can get with the state of Michigan for the most part. Definitely a lot of, gr a lot of great views. I think I could probably get one more over there, so let's head on over there. And we'll get one last good view of the, all the mountains at the very top here. Of course, got the little radar radio tower here. Well, this concludes today's video here in Copper Harbor, Michigan. And this is the Scott Man signing out from Top of the World. <laughs>